tonight. He's a former police officer for departments across mid-Michigan, as well as a former parole officer and teacher. He was arrested last year by the Genesee County Ghost Team when he tried to meet up with a 15-year-old for sex. Now he's under arrest again, and from what the Genesee County Sheriff says, the details on why are very graphic and disturbing. TV5's Raven Blue joins us in the studio with the latest. Yes, David and Meg, Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson went live on Facebook this afternoon to announce the re-arrest of former Vassar, Mayville and Oxford police officer Todd Baracco. He was one of 13 people arrested in connection to a four month long human trafficking investigation back in March of 2022. Baracco was taken into custody again after law enforcement found more than a quarter of a million photos and videos of child pornography on his phone. We work with Prosecutor Layton to get the search warrant to download the phone. He didn't give us consent. We're able to use that search warrant to get those images, take the investigation over to the prosecutor's office, who just wrote a 22-count felony warrant. Swanson says it took months for them to download more than 230,000 pictures and more than 9,000 videos of boys between the ages of 3 and 12 being sexually abused by adults from the phone. He also says he wants any former victim of Baracko to know that they can feel safe now to come forward. We're going to ask the judges to make sure that, that he does not get out. We're making sure that he's held accountable, that the courts do their job, the prosecutor did his job, the investigators did their job, the ghost did our job, and that's why we're here. We want you to feel comfortable with your victim. The 22 counts include possession of child sexually abusive material and use of a computer to commit a crime, which are seven and four year felonies. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.